Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel, Julia McNeilcraft. So today I am going to be doing a, another make for the hashtag All Together Now, um, which is basically a group of us crafters have got together and decided, you know, let's keep each other going um, through these sort of very strange times and we will just share um, our crafting. So we're not worried about brands or like there's lots of different brands of us that have got together, but it's not about that. It's not about promoting ourselves. It's about just... Let's get through this um, together. Um, for my um, All Together Now parts, I have sort of set myself a bit of a mission of trying to do some stash busting at the same time. So I am sort of focusing on my scraps or um, what do you call it? or like paper pads that, you know, I don't have an awful lot of it left now. Um, but they're sort of still sort of hanging on in there so that is kind of what my focus is going to be so this I found in my scrap um, thing my scrap bag yeah so I'd found this and it is a um, thank you card from um, Dali Art so um, I, it was a while ago I'd purchased a load of rice papers from them and um, this was sort of like a little thank you um, postcard thing that came in with it um, which is absolutely beautiful so I clearly squirreled it away to do something with and so it was in my bag of scraps so today is the day she is getting used now because it's got this sort of ethereal like watercolour -y look I am working in my Jane Davenport journal and I'm just going to do a little bit of a journal spread um, I kind of want to do a bit of a collage idea um, but I'm mostly just going to play with watercolours, I think. Um, sort of extend this bit that we've got here. And, um, yeah, extend that and then sort of put flowers and bits and bobs in her hair. So I'm just going to grab some clear okay, gesso. So I'm going to start off just by putting a little bit of clear gesso over um, the image. Because this is um, it's just a paper. It's not a special sort of watercolour card or anything like that. Um, the backing paper is watercolour, so that's going to take the watercolours fine. But it's just to give that bit of paper a little bit of protection. Um, I'm not going to be really putting too much of the watercolours on it, but it's just, it will, it will bleed over onto it. So I want to sort of protect it as much as I possibly can. I have also pulled out, I have my Jane Davenport paints because as I'm working in a journal, I thought it would be good to use her paints too. So I have um, some of these and I've also got my floating marshmallow paints. Dora has stopped making um, her paints which I understand why, because she just wasn't feeling the love anymore and there's no point in doing crafting unless you're enjoying it. I absolutely 100% agree with that. Um, and she's kind of sort of getting, got a bit more into uh, making resins and things like that. Sorry, my water bottle's needing topped up. Um, but she did make the most amazing paints. I think there might be a few still in her shop, so... Um, it might be worth checking out because I'm not sure that she's going to make any more but it's a shame. They are like my absolute favourite paints in the world. They're vegan paints, they smell amazing and they've got the most amazing mica in them. Um, so I am going to be combining my Jane Davenport paints with her paints um, today. And because um, I love the, I love the, um, the pearlescent look that it gives to it. And also I just, painting with them just makes me really happy. <laughs> Because they just smell so so beautiful that as you're like working with them, it just you just can't help but be happy. Right, so I am going to start off just putting a little bit of water on this um, page. Um, we'll see how it goes. At the minute, I'll just keep talking to you. Um, but if I feel like it's going to be quite a long process, I can always pop you on to um, fast forward. But I'm just sort of wanting to extend extend what we have here already um, and make that blend make that blend in so I'm going to be going for um, blues so I'm starting off with my lightest colour obviously this is going to need um, contrast so um, this isn't going to be the main colour because that's not really going to work overly well but I will sort of gradually um, build up we've got a lovely um, colour what does Jane call it ink 
that will be the final colour that will go on and I think that should be fairly close um, to what we have here. So, um, yeah, I think I am just going to build this up, have a lovely little play to myself. I'm just going to put the ink on now so that you can see that. Well, actually that's the purple, but that goes perfectly. That was the colour we were needing. Excellent. So, I now obviously there's a, a definite line there. Um, with the best will in the world, we're not going to paint that out. But as I said, I'm wanting to sort of collage um, flowers and bits and bobs. I've got some of um, Jane's um, transfers and things as well. So that's a purple colour. That was royal, and I'm now adding um, some of the ink. Um, colour as well. So I think that yes I am going to need to put you on um, fast forward while I do this because it is going to take a bit of time, it's probably going to like need to dry and be reworked and I don't want to rush it because obviously I want it to I want it to um, look good and look right but I'm actually quite liking the way that's just sort of softly blending out so I might not even go over the full page I might sort of like stick to that but I think I am actually going to pop you on fast forward as I finish the finish this off I'm still waiting this, for this side of my page to dry because I went quite heavy handed with the paint but I've managed to dry this side off so we'll work on this side a little bit. Now because I put this strip down it seemed quite quite a creative idea at the beginning and now I'm thinking <laughs> it doesn't really work with the page and I need to somehow put more black in so um, I was gifted these rub-ons oh goodness knows how long probably when I first started <laughs> crafting um, so, oh, I don't know. It was definitely way, 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 way before my daughter was now born and she's now eight. So, oh, I don't know, say 12 years ago or something. So, yeah, they have been sat in my stash and not been used. So, let's see. Let's put these out. And then I've also grabbed a few of um, the Jane Davenport rub-ons and some of her washies. And I'm just going to sort of collage a whole load of it down. Now, these are that old. Uh, some of it's gone down, actually so I'm quite impressed with that but some of it is struggling but um, also because I am working in a, a journal that's lifting a little bit um, obviously it's not the most even surface because like um, pages underneath have do you know what is it is that gonna no I'll stick it back down or shall I just rip there I quite like the fact that that's bled through like that <laughs> So let's see, um, I'll just sort of do that so it looks a bit more deliberate and then let's see if we can get a bit more of this rub. I'm not bothered that it's not going on perfectly, I can live with that. Got bits of it coming down, that's fine, I can live with bits of it coming down. Um, and then I'll maybe just put bits of it elsewhere as soon as it's not going down. As I said, these are that old that I'm surprised they're sticking at all. They're not sticking overly well. So I may put a bit of gesso or something, something down. Let's see if we can get some of it over here as well. And we'll give a suggestion of it. That's fine because we're going for a whole mixed media vibe. So I can live with 
I feel like I'm saying the same things over and over again. Yeah, they're not the best quality, but there you go. We've used them. We've used them. Maybe put a little bit just down here as well. And as I said, I can tell that the page I'm working on below has obviously got a little bit of dimension on this side, so it's just um, not wanting to play as nicely. So there we go. I mean, it just actually means that we've got a bit of black down. We've tied this in a little bit better. Um, right, now I've got some of the Jean Davenport um, washies. So we'll try and blend this in so it looks a bit better. And also I want to sort of cover up this thank you bit there as well. So I'm just going to pile a load of these on. So these ones sort of suit the colours a little bit. So let's get some of these on and we've got some more black and white ones. Oh, that's not quite what I was expecting. There we go. Not quite what I was expecting. So let's get some of some of these down. Just build up. Build up the page a little bit, moving this over so that you can see a little bit what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm just trying to cover that um, the thank you because I'm not particularly bothered about having that. And as you can hear, my dinner's ready. So I will just stop the camera now and uh, go down and get that. And then hopefully actually this will be dry enough to, to be working on it properly. So that was fortuitous timing. I will be back soon. Okay, so just before I went for my dinner, which was lovely, my husband made me a lovely um, vegetarian curry, so it's like sweet potato and spinach and stuff like that, most delicious. Um, I, I did just put a little bit of clear gesso over those rub-ons because I could see they were going to peel off and stuff like that. Um, as I said, they're ages old and probably weren't the best quality to start with, so yeah. Um, I just did that. Now I've got some more of the actual Jane... Jane Davenport ones here, so let me have a little look, see what we've, um, what we've, what we've got here. Okay, so, I kind of like this middle bit, so, um, yeah. I'm going to probably end up having to use all of this because the trouble is I'll end up sort of damaging the, the bottom bit. So, um, yeah. We'll just go with it and see what happens. Again, I've had these a while and I'm almost sort of like craft, craft hoarding them a little bit. So, this is so not what I thought my page would be when I started. But that doesn't matter, does it? It's about having a play... It's nice to, sometimes I think it's nice to craft without purpose, just just have a play because you feel like crafting. <laughs> Always feels like fun, right, so I'm going to rub that down. I'm quite liking using some Jane Davenport products in my Jane Davenport journal though, that feels quite nice. Feels like a good a good thing to be doing, so I'm having to give this quite a firm rub. But again, like I said before, it's because I am working in a journal that, and some of the pages that are below this do have texture because I like working with texture and layers and stuff like that. So it's just making this a little bit more difficult. But you can tell the difference in the quality of um, the the rub ons here because they're not breaking up as I do that. I can actually see it's transferring to the page so it's maybe taking a bit of effort but we're still, I mean look how clear that's looking so I think we're doing alright to be honest. And I'll just bring that, bring that off there. Okay, that's cool. Right, we'll see what, and I like how that's going to, odd how Oh, I actually quite like that. Odd how the creative power at once brings the whole universe to order. And that's kind of what we are trying to do with this. It's like life at the minute is just so all over the place. We're all in very strange circumstances. Um, we think we've got a grasp of what's going on as difficult as it is. And then it changes um, day by day. So... Um, this is kind of what we're trying to do with this, is like, 
saying to people, do you know what, let's just, let's just create, forget, forget life out there for a little bit and just create. Um, and let's do that together. Let's encourage each other through this. So actually that is a very good quote um, for this. As I said, so not what I'd intended <laughs> for this page when I started, but let's, let's see how we go. Right, get in there, oops, can't lift, lift this up, I'm just going to maybe finish that off, oh no, we're getting there, I was just wondering whether I needed to finish it off camera, whether it was going to be a bit time consuming, but we're getting there, okay, just need to get that E on, as long as it's sort of readable, then I think we're alright, there we go, Um. I don't really want the mirror, the mirror person, but I do sort of want to take away the starkness um, of some of those washies. So I might just use those elements there, just to bring that to life a little bit. Okay, dokey. I think we are getting there. I'm just going to have another quick look through those rub-ons or I can't remember what she calls them I like what she calls them um, journal tattoos <laughs> I think that's just fun right I've got a few odds and ends of um, dots and things that weren't quite um, transferred so I'm just going to use those odds and ends on um, these various bits and pieces that we've got going on just to just to sort of tie the page together. Let's bring some over here as well to make it look cohesive. And then I'm hoping that um, all the flowers and bits and bobs that I had pulled out will actually um, still still work with this page. But I'm kind of liking how it's turning out, to be honest. Right, yeah, let me see. Do I want anything else from here? Um, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, so um, I filled my bit box up a little bit because um, I've inherited a whole load of stuff and um, some of them were like sheets of pop-out um, flowers and butterflies um, and rather than sort of having the whole, like all the sheets sort of taking up space, I've just kind of popped a few of them out and stuck them in my box knowing that if they're on my desk, I will gradually... I will gradually use them. So I'm thinking that this was sort of my original idea that we'll just um, sort of pop some, do some sort of collage element with flowers and butterflies um, and pop that, pop that together. Actually that's quite simple, I quite like that. Um, do we need a few more? Right, I'm just going to pull some out and then so that you're not watching me rummaging the whole time and then we'll see how we're, how we're getting on. Okay, so I have um, just been pulling things out from um, my bit box as you saw and I've sort of been working on a little bit of a collage um, arrangement that I think works and I'm just going to try and gradually um, stick all of this down. So that is all I'm going to do for the minute. It, there might be a few little fiddly bits, but I think you can kind of see, <laughs> you can kind of see where I plan on sticking them. And I think you probably know how to glue things down. So I will just pop myself off camera again for a little second and actually um, glue all of this down and then we can finish off together. Okay, so I am quite pleased with how this is um, turning out so far, um, yeah. So I think right now um, we're of course needing a doodly border, so I'm not going to do anything too fancy, um, I'm just going to do a sort of little squiggle around the edge of the frame and again it just sort of stops the eye from looking off the page, it brings it looking to all the loveliness that's in in the center so it's similar to when um, you put a photograph in a frame it always looks so much better than just having the print on its own so I'm just going to do that and I'm contemplating whether 
to put some gold splashes on. Part of me wants to because there's the little gold elements in the flowers that are sort of creating the collage around her head. So part of me is wanting to. And then part of me is just quite liking how it looks as it is and I'm just a bit worried about whether it'll be too much. So I am a little undecided on that at this present moment in time. So <laughs> we will see. What do we think? See, this is when I kind of wish I'd done a live. Maybe we should attempt a live for one of these um, hashtag all together now. Um, projects. We will see. I am looking into trying to work out what I'm doing. So I film on an actual camera. I need to work out how to get my iPad above me now um, for lives and things. Okay so that is it framed. Mm. Do I want gold splashes? Shall we go for it? Why not? What's the worst thing that can happen? Okay, so I've got my Furutaki <laughs> Gansi Tambi paints because I do love the gold in this. It is very very opaque. Um, and it is one of my sort of go-to things. Now I'm going to try, I do want some gold splatters. I feel, I definitely feel like I want some but I don't want to, I don't want to go mad and then try not to go mad if sort of, um, nothing was happening so there we go. A bit more gently and let's bring some over onto that. So there's me saying I don't want to go mad and I've ended up putting big, big blobs around the place. Just let that dry because I tend to find, especially with this paint, that it, it does look much more goldy once it's actually dry. Okay, so that is me finished my page for today's project. Yeah, I'm quite liking it, quite pleased with how that turned out, so that's good. So if you would like to join in the fun, as I said, um, you can share in my group, which is JMC Crazy Craft Hive. You can share in Samantha K's Mixed Media Group. You can share in Emma's Happy Place. And you can share um, Craft Together with all brands. I will put the um, groups in the description box below. But across your social media, if you use the hashtag all together now, then we can come um, find you and show you some love and crafty support. So that is my project there. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please do consider liking and subscribing and I'll be back again very soon. Okay, take care then and goodbye.